Don't you wish your backyard looked like this? After boondocking Arizona, I headed north up Highway 191. This took me to the southeast corner of Utah. Valley of the Gods is about five and a half hours from Phoenix and six hours from Salt Lake City. It's conveniently located near Monument Valley to the southwest, Mexican Hat to the south, Bluff to the east, and Natural Bridges to the north. The route took me up 191 and 15 miles west on 163. As there are no facilities in Valley of the Gods, you might want to pop into Bluff first to get gas and basic groceries, and have a look at the Navajo Twin Rocks. What really strikes you is how red the sandstone is as you approach the valley. After turning north on a dirt road, I passed through a small stream with caution, but after that, the road was hilly but easy to navigate with a truck or jeep. I set up camp just a couple of miles from the entrance at a spot with a fire pit and an outstanding backdrop. Of all the places I've camped for free, this one certainly stands out as one of the best to unfold your lawn chair and enjoy the view. After a gorgeous sunrise the next morning, I did a short walk around the trailer. Although unfamiliar with the local flora, I'm pretty sure these are yucca bushes. As for fauna, this little guy is hard to see until he moves. I believe this is called rabbit bush, which would explain why a rabbit lives in them. All this fun made me hungry. I usually don't spend a lot of time talking about what I eat on the road, especially because it's really boring. Today is uh, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Um, I do try to uh, keep, eat things that are that keep. Uh, bananas don't, and bread sometimes doesn't, but peanut butter and jam, um, it keeps forever. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. And uh, if, if, your, uh, if your bread goes bad, you can always use crackers and saltines and stuff like that. But uh, easy to prepare, fast, no cleanup. That's the stuff I like. And it hits the spot. It was now time to explore the northwest part of the trail. At around the five mile mark is Battleship Rock, where I started my hike. A little further down the road, I followed a group of cottonwood trees scattered about in a small wash. This took me to a little stream flowing east from the cliffs. It was a perfect spot to capture a few reflections in the water. So there's an unwritten rule in photography, but when you're in a landscape like this, you have to do a panorama. So here's mine. While it's truly spectacular in color, black and white reveals the subtle tones and transports you back to the Old West. But today's traveler can still feel the spirit of riding down the old dusty trail. And it's at this point where the road winds south. As it twists around Castle Butte, every cedar tree seems to be precariously perched on the edge of a rock cliff. So why is it called Valley of the Gods? In looking across the desert horizon, it's not hard to imagine mythical figures carved in stone. While someone else gave these rocks trivial names, I see more powerful faces. By late afternoon, the sun makes silhouettes of these ancient monuments, 
standing on guard as the world passes them by. I find video doesn't always capture the moment, so here's a collection of my still shots. Well, another spectacular sunset. Too bad it was bad shirt day, though. I know that makes it really loud, but the colors are loud, so to hell with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, check out my other camping videos as well. Happy camping!